I am Sumit and today I am again here with you with an interesting video uh, where I am going to take you through an amazing excel based template which can help you to you know uh, maintain and calculate employees leave data leave or attendance data right so guys if you are from a human resource background or you know and if you are you know uh, handling uh, a larger team we need to you often need to do you know uh, maintain their employee empl your employees leave data and all on a monthly basis so you are aware you know um, it's a kind of mammoth task and most of the organization uses you know some sort of uh, softwares or HRIA system to maintain employees leave plan or leave details but in a smaller organization where you know um, generally you know these task is done using some sort of excel sheets so um, these excel sheets are you know uh, you, you being used you know to maintain or records employees leave or attendance data so today i am here with you with an amazing and ex ex exciting you know uh, a, a good very good excel template which can help you to maintain our employees leaves or their leave plan their attendance record their leave data and uh, this is quite you know totally uh, first of all it's quite fast it's amazing and it's totally automated so let's see how this template is all about and how this basically you know it works so guys uh, this is a template which uh, we are using you know to you know maintain employees leave plan it has three sheets in it the first sheet is the leave balance report so this is the kind of first template which can show you uh, employees every employee you know leave utilization record in a consolidated manner for example it will show you that a particular employees has taken so many leaves in that particular month and at the end of the year you can just have a look uh, on the total you know what is uh, the actual you know leave utilization and what is the balance at the end of the year right this will also show you the leave utilization percentage which is which you can see you know, simply take a look you know to analyze what is the uh, leave utilization per percentage which is going on right so this sheet is completely automated as i've already mentioned that you don't need to you just need to ma uh, maintain their leave plan in the um, subsequent sheet and the rest of the things will be calculated automatically here in the sheet right so the another sheet is the employee leave plan and as you can see this is in a calendar format right where you need to just uh, you know plot your employees leave you just need to you know uh, select from the drop down right and uh, it goes right from first day of the year to the last day of the year and at the end of the sheet you will see some sort of, cal some sort of calculation is uh, you know being done here in order to fetch the actual or you can say you know the total uh, number of leaves uh, for those particular employees on a you know on a monthly basis there is one more sheet which is a holiday list this is quite good and helpful sheet because you know um, all you need to do is just you know you need to just uh, maintain or plot your um, organizations or your companies leaves or holidays uh, here in the excel standard format so how uh, these holidays will be considered automatically here in this in this excel sheet all right all right so let's let's see how the sheet is working so first of all uh, once you will receive this template you just need to come on this second sheet which is employee leave plan select the respective year for which you are doing the leaves calculation or leaves you know um, attendance leaves data for your employees so we'll select the you know current year that is 2022 and as you can see this sheet automatically populates uh, the holidays dates based on the holiday list which you will mention here as you can see that i have mentioned first january 22 as in holiday because that's a new year day and this sheet is automatically you know showing holiday for that particular date that is first january and in this next sheet also as you can you will identify that sheet is automatically taking or considering the holidays based on the holiday list which i have already mentioned in here in this sheet right okay now uh there's one more thing which this sheet is you know doing automatically is the identification of the weekends or the week offs so most of companies are you know follows five day working uh, you know five working days and uh, there are two uh, weekends in the week that is saturday or sunday so as you can see based on the weekday this sheet is automatically you know highlights that which are the week offs so you just you can you just simply you know um, omits these particular days dates while you know capturing the employees uh, attendance data or their leave plan basically so guys all you need to do is just you know uh, 
just mention your employees details here in these two columns and you can simply you know for example let's say if we are just making some dummy entries and showing there's these particular employees is on leave right so you all you need to do just select some details from the drop down and in the drop down you will find what kind of option you will find let's see so from the drop down you will see there it gives you four five options that is for holiday which is you know um, calculating automatically the second is week off the third one is leave or is half day leave because there are you know some sort of um, uh, incidents where employees you know goes on a half day leave so you can just simply use half day leave as well and the next one is the leave without pay so leave without pay is the basically you know condition where any employee have exhausted all their leave balance so and in, in spite of that you know he or she has gone on a leave so as an you know hr personnel you just need to you know identify that if that particular is not having any you know um, leave in their balance so you can just put them on a leave without pay so this will show in a different color format as well for easy recognition and once you are done the, all the entries for that particular month for those employees you can simply take a look what is the you know what is their leave balance look like so here you can see that i have mentioned you know the basis on the leave which i mentioned it is already you know capturing details from here so for this employees anita david i have you know meant i have mentioned two leaves in the month of january so you can see that you know it is also showing number of leaves two for the month of jan and going forward it will you know calculate or it will show the number of leaves for respective month for the respective employees right guys all you need to do is in the sheet in the first column that is column f you just need to you know mention what is the actual you know leave entitlement for that particular year right for those employees because see every employees has depending upon their leave policy every company has different leave policy and have different different you know leave entitlement so that is completely you know optional or that is completely editable so based on the leave policy of a company you can simply you know mention the leave entitlement for the particular employee you guys must just remember uh, uh, while you know uh, mentioning the leave entitlement that you just need to do this for uh, you know for those employees who have uh, joined in mid of the year so entitlement will be given based on the pro rate basis right i hope you understand this particular thing if you don't need i mean if you uh, need support on that just you know um, um, make a comment i will explain you what is you know uh, pro rated calculation for the leave entitlement let's go to the end of the sheet and end of sheet you will find that you know what is there so in the column as will show you that how many leaves total leaves this particular has um, these particular employees have taken so far right so this will show in the column s the leave without pay column as i you know as i already informed you that you know lwb will be you know considered if employees has exhausted exhausted their leaves and there is no leave in their balance so we will mention leave without pay for those particular instances right and those lwp counts will be shown separately in column t now at the end in column u the column u will show you what is the leave balance you know as of now so leave balance simply you know is being calculated based on the entitlement the total entitlement minus the total leaves they have taken so far so for example in this case for farah tapscott she has 18 you know entitlement as a total leave and the entitlement and out of 18 she has taken you know four leaves so far so what is the balance as of now the balance is 14 which is showing in the column b right and the column b is showing basic the leave utilization percentage so leave utilization basis uh, again basis on the uh, entitlement so how many leaves she was entitled to take in a particular year and how many leaves she has taken so far so based on that you know utilization percentage is being calculated here right so this is a simple and you know uh, effective uh, leave uh, utilization or you know leave management excel template and i am you know sharing the link uh, of this particular sheet in the description box so you can just simply download this excel template and you can just use it if you need any support any help just you know uh, just comment I will do